Hello, so um, ang gagawin natin ngayon ay email signature. We're going to create an email signature. Um, if you don't know what that is, uh, let me show you something. Let me show you what an email signature is. Um, if you are a virtual assistant, if you're a business owner, if you are an employee, I uh, I suggest na um, create tayo ng email signature. So let me show you some emails that I sent and um, I'll show you what my email signature looks like. I mean, it's not the best. It's not the most um, like perfect email signature, but uh, it's something. Okay, so for example, this, oh, not this one, hold on. Um, Oh, let's see. Okay, this one. For example, this one. All right, so this is an email that I sent. Uh, it's actually for, for a job application. So if you can see at the bottom of my screen, or, or actually at, by the end, uh, at the end of the email, um, you'll see my logo. And my name here, um, my role or yeah, my job, my job role, and then my mobile number and my site link, and of course um, thumbnail, uh, thumbnails. What do you call this? Icons. These icons has um, automation. So if you click here, ayan mag automate siya sa aking Facebook account. Same thing. It will also automate my Instagram and my YouTube uh, channel. So, yes, yan yung kagandahan ng email signature. Because you can brand your services with, um, I mean, through email. So, yan ang kagandahan ng email signature. So, I'll, I'll, I'll teach you how to create that. And um, first thing is, let's pull up Google, of course. So, Google Chrome. A browser and then let's pull up Google Drive so from here click nyo tong ano na to itong icon na to beside your picture yung nine dots click nyo, ni click nyo lang yan and then click on Google Drive okay and then now we have Google Drive click on plus new because we're going to create uh, or use a new document. So we're, we're using Google Docs. So once you click on plus new, click on Google Docs. And it will um, pull up a new document. Okay, so from here, let's wait. Let's wait for it to load. So from here, we're going to... Um, Click on insert, insert, and then table, and then um, we're selecting this. So we're selecting two by one. So two by one. Ayan, two by one. So, ito siya, table. Again, it's insert, and then table, and then we'll select two by one. Okay, so now we're going to first is here. Um, we're going to upload your picture. It could be your picture or it could be your logo. So just um click on insert. Make sure the eto yung yung um line is nakapaloob dito, and then click on insert, and then image. And then, upload from computer. Pwede rin kayong mag-drag lang ng photos or by URL. So, let's try upload from computer. Kung ano mang, hopefully, meron akong ano dito, ano. Maybe downloads. Let me try downloads and... picture, asan na ba yung aking logo? Ito, this one. So, click ko lang yan, and then open. 
or insert. Ayan. So, ito na siya. And then, of course, we can um, palitin natin. Para hindi naman siya masyadong OA pag ano. Mga ganyan. Para hindi masyadong malaki. Ayan. Tapos, ito pwede natin i-drag ng ganito. Ayan. And then, <clears throat> then we can type our name here. So, ako, um, it's Eden's Virtual Services. And then, type natin dito ang aking mobile number. Let's say, 0995. Oh, yeah. Sige. So, gamitin na ng ating Philippine number. Ano? Ah, <laughs> Just my US number. Let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Yan na lang, kunwari. And then, um, we can enter our um, website. Medyo mahaba yung site name. So, dito, Eden's virtualservices.com yun ang ating website <clears throat> of course our number so ayan lang muna yung gusto kong uh, ilagay Manila Philippines or Cavite Philippines ayan so it's up to you kung anong gusto nyo ilagay dyan um, ayan lang muna yung gusto kong ilagay. And we can, of course, change the font. Or the font and the color as well. So, I would like to keep it Arial. Um, may mga iba pa namang fonts. But it's up to you if you want to change it. <clears throat> For me, um, okay na muna yan. Uh, let, let me try this other one. I think this one looks cool. Ayun. Okay. Ayan. O, sige, sige. Ganyan na lang. Mas, parang cute siya. Ayan, okay. And then, I'll make this pink. Gusto ko lang. <laughs> Change natin ng font or ng color. Alright. Ayan. And then, ito, okay na yung ganyan lang siya. <clears throat> so, ayan. And then, ano nga yung phone number ko, gagawin ko na lang, babaguhin ko na lang yung aking ano. Ayan. Block na lang tong isa para ay, filler pala yun. Wait ha. Gagawin kong block yung font. Ayan. Gawin natin Arial. And then 11. Medyo pantay-pantayin natin yung mga ano para hindi naman pangit tingnan. Nalagay ko dito mobile. Number. Ayan siya. So, ito lang yung gusto kong ilagay. And, of course, if you want to add icons, we can, um, andito siya, diba? Um, click natin yung, again, kailangan naka-insert dito sa loob yung um, ating cursor. And then, click on insert. And then, image. Upload from computer. So, itong mga icons na ito, kinuha ko lang din sa Google. So, you can just uh, find icons on Google. I already have mine tulad itong mga to. Kinat ko lang yung mga logo. So, let's say, I'll, I want to put my Instagram logo or link. Oh, laki niya. So, paliitin natin, of course. Yung super liit kasi maging icon lang siya, ba? So, icon ng Instagram <coughs> is there. <coughs> and then, another one is Facebook. Um, insert ulit and then image and then upload from computer or drag the picture if you want 
So, Facebook. Okay, sige, yung Facebook logo ko. And again, paliliitin natin siya ng super liit. And, ayan, magka-size na sila. Tama ba? Ayan, medyo magka-size na sila. And then, uh, my website. Let's try. <clears throat> Let me see. Insert. Um, okay na siguro. Ah, hindi. Tatlo para, para pantay. Insert and an image again. Upload from computer. Or if you can just drag the picture. Much, mas madali. So... Asa na yung YouTube logo? Ito, this one. And then, open. And then, paliitin natin again. Ayan. So, ngayon, paano mo to um, lalagyan ng link? So, let's say, Instagram. Punta tayo sa Instagram. Login ka sa Instagram mo para makuha mo yung link ng iyong page, Instagram page. Login tayo. Ayan. So, ito na yung Instagram page ko pala. Nandito na siya. Okay. Then, copy ko lang tong link. And then... Ito naman, itatapat natin sa picture yung cursor. Click natin yung picture and then right click and then click on link. And you'll just paste the link here and then apply. Para pag pinindot yan, automatically maglo-load na yung Instagram page. And then same as yung Facebook. So, let's go to Facebook. Let's get the link. My profile. I'll just use my, my personal profile. So, yan, and then just um, same thing, right click, link, and then paste, and then apply, and yung YouTube then, YouTube channel. Okay, medyo mabagal. Your channel. Okay. Okay, so same thing ulit. Right click. No. Select muna and then right click and then link and then paste. And then just apply. There you go. Um, ngayon naman, pantayin na natin siya. Kasi parang dumami na yung ayan, ayan, medyo pantay na siya. Okay, now, what we're going to do is, we're going to remove these, yung mga lines. So, here, click nyo yung line dito sa taas, and then ito, and I think this one, hold on. Ito to. Click natin to, dapat gagawin natin zero. So, ayan, mawawala na siya. Same thing dito sa baba. Click mo yung line, or yung border, and then border with zero. Same thing here. Click. And then change it to 0. This one too. Click 0. Okay, go natin 0. So then. Okay, so ayan. Ito na lang yung natira. So itong, itong isang to, gawin natin is click natin yung border width and then pakapelin natin siya. Gawin natin, let's say, 3. Ayan. And then we can change the color. Gawin natin siyang pink din. Um, ito siya para mapalitan ng kulay. And then, ayan. Ay, parang masyado siyang ano, oh. Ito na lang. Para medyo close yung, yung kulay. Ayan. Ayan siya. So, ito na yung magiging um, signature natin. Ngayon, all we have to do is just copy, control C. Go to your Gmail account. 
let's say naka nasa Gmail inbox tayo, click on dito, settings. And then settings ulit. And then scroll down. Ito siya, mapupunta tayo sa signature ito, signature. Tanggalin ko muna. Yan. And then paste. So ay nag-i bakit nag-iba yung font? Okay, so it is possible na yung font natin is hindi applicable or hindi siya pwede sa sa ano. So paliliitin natin siya. Papalitan natin normal large. Ayan, tapos palitan na lang natin ng ano ng font since ayaw niya tanggapin yung font na galing dun sa ano. Ayaw niya tanggapin yung font na galing dun sa ano sa doc so okay lang so ayan na siya and ang problem ko dito kasi is nag nag um didikit-dikit itong ano but anyway um yan yung <coughs> ganyan siya and then you can just save so once you save it you can now send your email with email signature. So, yan. Pag nagsasend ka ng email, lagi nang lalabas yun dito sa baba. Ayan. Ganyan siya. Tapos, ayun. Meron ka ng email signature. And then, when you click that, let's try to send something. Okay? So, test email. to Test email lang para makita natin kung ano yung sura niya. Okay, to ourselves. I'm gonna send it to myself. And then send. Ngayon, check natin ang ating sent items. And then, click natin si test email. So, ayan yung itsura niya. O, diba? Andiyan na yung logo natin sa ibaba. And then, we'll just click here. Yan, automatically, naglo-load siya. And, nakita nyo parang nag-iba yung kulay. So, um... We can just change it dito ulit sa settings. You can just edit the color there, okay? So, <clears throat> that's it. And uh, hopefully, it helped you. Um, you can now create your own email signature para mas presentable yung ating emails. And of course, we can brand our services or kung may channel man tayo or website, may brand natin um, by we're just sending an email. So, yun. Thank you for watching and God bless.